Now live. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Faith Over Fear. Oh, they're telling all our followers, of which there are many. Hello, hello, hello. It is great to be with y'all. people say, you know, Pastor, uh, I just think that the church should stay completely out of political things and just preach the gospel. Well, then we probably need to remove the book of Esther. In a war for the United States of America right now. Last week, last week, there was a, a, a prayer and worship gathering. I'm not sure if you saw it in Washington, D.C. The reports were some of the news media that did report it and very few did because it doesn't fit narrative, said that there was about 50,000 people. I spoke with a pastor yesterday. He said, what number did you hear? I said, well, I heard it was more like 100, 120,000. He says, oh, pastor, I think there was more like 250,000 people gathered all up over those days. A quarter of a million people gathered in Washington, D.C. We're just going to play a clip of it. to understand something very clearly today. We will always speak out against the spirits of the age. And I, I'm gonna talk more about that as we progress in this story. We will always speak out about the wicked, satanic organizations like Planned Parenthood that manipulate women and men in their most deepest hour of vulnerability. We will always speak out about the aggressive, LBGTQ plus agenda that is trying to confuse and corrupt our children. We will speak out against those spirits. And we can look at the spirit of the world and we see that the spirit of the world was so aggressive in this story that the perverted men, which, which represent the spirit of this age, were beating on the door, beating on the door to the point where, where the old man was like, do not do this, this wicked thing. Men do not do this vile thing, but they did not heed him. Why? Because the spirit of the world cannot be satiated. And one of the biggest mistakes that many pastors and churches and Christians have made is they, that they have thought that, that they could placate or pander to this spirit. And somehow if, we'll, if we just pander, if we say nothing, it'll die down. It won't die down. It's a satanically motivated spirit come from the devil himself. Read your Bible, Revelation. No coincidence that the states that rebel the most against God have got the highest COVID deaths, got the highest homelessness, got the highest gun violence, got the highest deaths. Why is that? It's guns. It's got nothing to do with it's COVID. No, it's the same COVID in America. It's they've departed from God. They've rejected his protection. Yes. The nations, the states, the counties, the towns, the cities, the human pe beings, the human lives that submit to God will find that God's protection, God is a king. Yes. 